be or not to be, that is the question. Whether tis noble in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or by opposing end them, to die, to sleep, perchance to dream. Ay, there's the rub, for in that sleep of death what dreams may come when we've shuffled off this mortal coil must give us pause. There's respect that makes calamity of so long life. For who would bear the whips and scorns of time? The oppressor's wrong, the proud man's contumely, the pangs of despised love, the law's delays, the insolence of office, patient merit the unworthy takes when he himself might his quietus make with bare potkin. Who would fardels bear to grunt and sweat under a weary life? But that the dread of something after death, the undiscovered country from whose born no traveler returns. It puzzles the will makes us rather bear the ills we have than to fly to others that we know not of. Thus conscience, it makes cowards of us all. Thus the hue of resolution sicklied over with a pale cast of thought and enterprises of great pith and moment in their currents turn awry and lose the name of action. Soft, you know. <laughs>